This is a little doodle art that I'm creating onto my fabric. I'm using a very soft pencil, so it just literally moves and glides over the fabric. I don't intend to lift my pencil off the fabric. This is literally going to be one continuous line. In other words, one continuous flow. A stream of consciousness without me thinking, without me trying. I'm just letting my hands do the walking, the talking and the designing and I'm going with it. It's a really soothing, lovely thing to do. Not to be aiming for something, but just to be watching and seeing as the pattern grows and develops in front of my eyes. This is absolutely something all of you can do too, on fabric or on paper and in whatever medium you choose. I'm painting on lemon, orange and turquoise dyes onto my cloth with a sponge. The dyes merge together absolutely beautifully and they also absorb into the fabric really, really well. I'm now going to be painting the areas with wax that I wish to keep these shades in the pattern that I'm choosing. There we go. Now I put on my final shade, a very strong navy, and you can see my pattern peeks through. Take off excess dye and batik is done. I'm painting the colours of the rainbow onto my fabric in a really free and easy way. The dyes just merge together beautifully and they also absorb easily into the fabric. I'm not thinking where I put the colour, I'm just doodling and playing. I'm now waxing a pattern on top of these colours with a brush and very hot wax. There we go. I now add my final colour of black and done. This is an American comedian that I've drawn onto my fabric and now I'm waxing everywhere I wish to keep white with a junting and very hot wax. I'm concentrating because it's actually quite fiddly and I don't want to make a mistake. I'm filling the background area in with a brush and hot wax. Light tan is put on the cloth and I now wax all the areas I wish to keep light tan. I put on a darker shade of tan and I now wax all these areas. There we go. Very nearly done. Now my final colour, a black is applied. Here's Nicole Bayer. I'm putting water onto my heart with a sponge. I now paint on lemon and pink dye. And because of the water, the colours merge together. I'm now waxing the areas I wish to keep these shades and now I put on a strong pink. I wax the areas I wish to keep this colour. In actual fact, I'm outlining areas in this colour. There we go. And now for my final shade, a black. And you can see my heart is nearly complete. And done. I'm painting lemon dye all over my cloth. I'm now painting on orange dyes in an easy way. I'm waxing the areas I wish to keep orange and lemon and I'm actually waxing the outline of my flower. I now paint on red and brown dyes in the central area. I put a blue dye on for the background of my batik. I wax the areas I wish to keep these shades. I'm actually outlining my flower these colours. And now I put a pattern in the central area of my flower. Again, I'm using a junting and hot wax and a brush for the larger areas. I'm concentrating because it's actually quite fiddly. I now add my last colour, a very dark green. And there we go, done. This is my take on one of the 21 Pilots album covers and I'm waxing everywhere I wish to keep white 
with a junting and hot wax. I now apply red dye all over my fabric and you can see that the waxed areas peek through. I wax the areas I wish to keep red, again with hot wax and a junting, and I'm concentrating because it's all quite fiddly and I don't want to make a mistake. I now add my final shade, which is a black, and cover is done. I'm drawing Taylor Swift onto my fabric with a soft pencil. I'm now waxing all the areas I wish to keep white. A light orange dye is now put over the cloth and I wax all the areas I wish to keep this particular shade. A bright red is now applied to the cloth and I wax the areas I wish to keep this colour. I'm concentrating so I don't make a mistake. A deep, dark, strong maroon is now applied to the fabric. And there we go. Done. I'm painting the LGBTQ plus colours all over my fabric. And the dyes just merge together absolutely beautifully. I'm now waxing a pattern on top of these colours with a brush and very hot wax. I'm not thinking, I've planned nothing, I'm just going with the flow. I'm letting my hand do the walking, do the talking and do the designing. And everywhere I wax, I protect the colours underneath it. I now put black dye all over my batik and my image peeks through. Here I am about to finish my matchstick floral batik. I'm putting on my last bit of navy dye and you can see that the dye will not absorb into the wax flowers and leaves. They peek through saying hello here we are now my last little bit and then my batik is finished. Done. I've just filled my junting with hot wax and now I'm waxing all the areas I wish to keep the colours pink and yellow and where my pencil marks are. I'm concentrating very hard because the wax is flowing very fast and it makes it quite difficult to control. As it cools down, it becomes easier. I have to keep cleaning the nib of the junting or else it can often blob in places I don't want it to. But here we go. It's actually now getting slower as it gets cooler and I've got more control. And you can see the design is developing in wax. There we go. It's terribly relaxing to do. It's great fun. You have to concentrate very hard, but while you concentrate, you're focused and being focused is good. I'm spraying tan dye over my fabric and square stencils. I'm now waxing the areas I wish to keep these shades in the pattern that I've chosen. I'm using a junting and also a brush. It's quicker putting on wax with a brush in the very large areas. I'm now going to be applying my final colour, which is a deep, strong red. And you can see my pattern peeks through. Batik is done. This is one of my abstract batiks and I'm very nearly finished. I'm now putting on my final shade, which is a deep, dark, strong maroon. This dye will not absorb into the wax. The wax pattern that I've created peeks through the dye, saying hello. And here we go, I'm nearly done. I just now need to take off the excess dye and I'll hold it up to the light and you can see it.